Okanagan has a 114-year tradition of community parades. Frank Matsura, our town's photographer, captured the first parades on film in 1910. People made horse-drawn wagon floats decorated with flags and buntings. There was a float with a milk cow. There were horse races down Main Street and sack races down First Avenue. Kids were eager to join the parade, too, by hitching their dogs to their little wagons. Fifty years later, in the middle 1960s, kids really wanted to join the parade. They decorated their bikes with crepe paper. They wore costumes and showed their pet. The Ross and Shoe was always a big hit. In the early 2000s, the Amigos Club made huge paper mache chilies and a giant paper mache mask in the shape of Mexico. This year, the Okanagan Chamber of Commerce invites you to ride your bike, your scooter, your hoverboard, or drive your toy tractor in the Okanagan Days Parade. The giant toys will be there again this year, as well as a new toy where you guide a ball down a wiggly path. Come and test your skill. We will also do the annual Salmon March to welcome the salmon back to the Okanagan River and our previously graduated alumni who will come back to town. This celebrates the old tribal story of coyote leading the salmon up the Okanagan River. Come and color your salmon hat at the Grange Hall this Saturday at 1020. The parade will start at 11. Our very own drum major Hayden Swartzel will lead us at the very front of the parade, right behind the scouts who are carrying the flag. So come join the parade, make a memory, and be a part of the community.